Welcome to the Jamoti Podcast. We are all surrounded by amazing coaches and leaders. So let's get an inside look at not just what they do, but how they do what they do. After all, becoming the best versions of ourselves is Jamoti, just a matter of doing it. The Jamoti Podcast is powered by Sideline Interactive. Sideline Interactive is the leading manufacturer for high quality, innovative scoring tables and LED video display boards that help coaches and schools bring more excitement to fans, create huge fundraising opportunities, and make their jobs easier. Visit sidelineinteractive.com to check out their amazing products. I love that. Coach, this is a brand new question that uh, one of my, I've got a, a little coaches circle like a lot like a lot of us do and I asked them before I started these fall interviews what are some different questions that I can bring into the mix and this is one what's a rule change that you would want to see and why (laughs) yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna give the answer that everybody gives but I'm gonna give it in a way that I think will be unique um the shot clock I'm I'm a really firm believer that we need a shot clock. And what it does is it allows teams to be more pure with basketball. It's, you know, a, these are goals. Goals are hard to achieve. You know, we're trying to shoot it in a goal. We're not trying to pass the ball around and, and avoid the goal. Um, and I, I think it... It, it, it makes teams be more direct and more decisive. Um, you, you have these great teams that, you know, they're hosting, they're number three in the state, and they're hosting a good team. And the good team has grinded out a, a game, and, and it's a six-point game with four minutes left. You know, you're trying to upset, you're, you're down six. And this great team pulls the ball out. And sure, you know, you have two division one point guards, you know, but if if you had if you had a shot clock, you'd have to have to execute. Yeah. And instead, you know, you're playing a game that that I don't think is as pure um with with the strategies that, that we have today. Um also a shot clock can really help a team that can't press become a good pressing team. Oh, yeah. Good point. You you run a 2-2-1 or run a 1-2-2, and all of a sudden, this great team that you're playing has the ball with 16, 17, 18 seconds on the shot clock, and they got to execute. You know, they can't just pull it out, make you chase, drive it in hard and throw up an alley-oop to the corner of the back, the low, low corner of the backboard. And, you know, you know, that's not, yeah, that's a team, a team that, that plays a great game and has put themselves in position to win the game or, or to, you know, let it be in the last seconds, last minute. Um, I think it's a shot clock is a great equalizer. It makes the game more pure. It helps teams become more direct uh, rather than indirect, and um, I sound like a soccer coach, but um, <laughs> the shot clock is something that's it's certainly needed, and and it's it's worked in other states as well. I, in fact, when I was playing in Rhode Island, my freshman and sophomore year, I played high school in Rhode Island, and we had a shot clock our second year, forty five wow. seconds, forty five seconds. So don't tell me somebody can't work the the shot clock yeah you know i mean that that's a big joke uh but our our game is so good in this state um whether you play I don't know, we play houston christian every year because i respect houston christian i don't care if you're private or public public school you're gonna yeah. there's great coaches great players i i think the fans deserve to see a modern game and I, I think love I love some clock. of those. Yeah, I love some of those reasons that you gave. And and over over the the year and a half of getting to do this, I, I asked that question in the speed round quite a bit about do you want a shot clock or no shot clock? And 90, 95, 98% of the coaches would like it. I think they're uh, the only argument I've ever, you know, really heard of it that 
that I guess is, is valid is the 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 lesser team that maybe an, the only strategy they have is to take possessions out of the game. Yeah. To slow it down enough, grind enough, you know, but ag- against a superior team. Uh, because but that's it, why I like it, though. Yeah. Sure. I mean, okay, so you can still do that, but you're going to have to execute. Yeah. I mean, from a developmental standpoint, I think because I'm a huge proponent of skill work needs to be within, you know, a offensive skill work and shooting needs to be 50 percent or more of your team practice, yeah. in my opinion. And so that, that will I think it'll force more coaches and more programs to really look at how are we developing individually our players? And then also what does, how does our style maximize or benefit them? And and I think we'll see that emphasis increase a lot. And we're also, we're working on that. You know, we're constantly be direct, be direct. You have one second to make a choice. One second, pass, dribble, shoot. Without there being a shot clock, you know, we always tell our our good players, you know, in a, in a good year, we had we had a good team last year, and we had three players play college, you know, and we're always constantly telling them if you can't create a a shot within, you know, one point eight seconds, that you're never going to play unless you're a center, yeah. and there aren't any centers anymore. So, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but we're constantly working on being direct, being direct. That's constant, and. I think that's – let's look at it. It's the way – the best way to live life is to be direct, to show passion, to to to, to hit everything head on, to, to always go out there and try to prove a point. Well, if you have an eight-point lead with three minutes and 45 seconds left and you're the way better team, what kind of point are you proving? Keep executing, you know, so – yeah, no, that's a good I point. Shot clock. I will say that the biggest part of because I don't think, and you're probably the same way, I don't think we would really ever see a, a shot clock violation. I mean, our goal is 12 seconds or less <laughs> off a of make or miss. So I probably probably wouldn't see it very much, but it would definitely change uh, late game strategy because yeah. I, I I take, I, I don't joystick and I give our players a lot of control sure. through our concepts throughout uh Three fourths of the game, or most of the game, two minutes or less. If there is a lead, we do pull it out and we shoot free throws. We handle the ball well, and but it would, it would for the team that's down. Here's what I do yeah. like for the team that's down four to six points, with even a minute forty five left. It's not uh, an amount that you have to, you know, start to necessarily press, freak yeah. out, do something weird. Yeah, hey. Just like we do every day in Shell, this is a huge possession. Yep. You know, you get one stop, and then, like you said, execute. It would make, I, I think, the end of games way more entertaining. Yeah, uh, I think you'd see. I, I think you'd see more, more uh, that the teams that are really prepared in their execution um, pull away mm. too. You know, if if, if they're the the team up. You know they're gonna they're gonna run a set or run an offense to try to get themselves to the foul line or yeah. you know something like Talk that. Talk about shot selection being even more important at that stage yeah. of the game with a shot clock because you can't yeah. have little Timmy out there thinking that anytime he's open with two minutes left right now yeah. I can pull it. it. You better have shot clock established day one of practice if it, or, or yeah. shot uh, selection like established. It. I like it, and yeah. I, I know some people have gone out to California, yeah, and play tournaments and 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 enjoy it too. So, either way, the game's so good. It's not yeah. like it's not like we're, you know, putting people to sleep. <laughs> Stands yeah. the the idea that it's it's it'll destroy the game, and I have heard that a few times. It'll just change it dramatic. I just don't, I don't see it. You're I gonna think- see if. If if they had a shot clock, you're going to see a lot more upsets. You're going to see a lot more upsets. You're going to see the team that is driven by execution and being precise. Those teams are going to beat. They're going to march into places and, and beat them because they're decisive and they're directed. It's just the opposite. Hmm. All you got to do is watch college basketball. There's a shot clock. 
And the teams that are so precise, they're, they're the teams that win. Think of Loyola and what they've done the last four or five years. Well, they <laughs> yes, they have good players, but they run some good stuff and, and they're very basic, but they all catch and rip and they, they all are precise in their cuts. And it's just, and, and yet at the end of the game, they still got 70 points. It's not like they're scoring, you know, 41 points per game. Thank you for checking out today's episode. Please take a moment to subscribe to this podcast, share it with your fellow coaches, and find us on social media for what's coming up next on the Jamoti podcast. It's just a matter of doing it.